My name is Marjorie Harrison, and I have two children. Uh, my son's name is Joshua, and he's 16, and my daughter's name is Bridget, and she will be 14 soon. Joshua has been going to youth group for about five years now, and Bridget has been going to youth group for three years. Who is Joshua Harrison? I would say Joshua Harrison is a wonderful piano player. He loves to bust my chops, but he is also very compassionate. He has a big heart for other people. He loves hospitality, he loves having people over, he loves spending time with people, and he loves his family, whether it's his church family or his biological family. I would say Bridget is very independent, and she is an awesome artist. She can draw anime like you wouldn't believe, and um, she has a heart for her friends as well. She's a little more quiet and on the reserved side about it, but she feels very passionately about the people that are in her inner circle. If she loves you, she's going to love you with her whole heart. Youth Group has given my children a lot of opportunity to grow in the sense that they're coming alongside us and teaching the same things to our children that we have as parents and giving them different opportunities to express them. And also sometimes it's just nice to have someone else come in and, you know, reinforce what you're teaching already at home. I've seen a lot of growth in Joshua. He would like to participate in the next baptism, so that's pretty exciting. And he's also um, started to use his talents that God's given him, you know, in the church. Josh is not afraid to ask me important questions, whether it was spiritual or just personal. Um, that's one thing I've really noticed, the, the growth in Joshua. I would say the thing that I see most about Bridget is just the way that she's come out of her shell more. Bridget is a very reserved person, has a hard time trusting people, and being part of the discipleship group with Kayla and the other girls there has forced her to learn to trust people, that God has given her some people in her life that love her no matter what, no matter what she says, no matter what she does, it has been you know, a major component in her life. I'm really just glad that it is a safe place for them because I don't have to worry about them while they're there. I don't have to worry about what they're teaching and what they're doing. I know that if they're there, not only is it a safe place in the sense that they can open up their hearts and confide in people, but it's just physically a safe place because I know that they're gonna take care of my children, both you know, spiritually and physically. I don't have any worries when I drop them off.